Yo, I'm looking for this dude who's new on the scene, who's like flashing this fresh tack, who's got like bomb moves, right? Who you got? Welcome back. This is part two of how to make your own cell router. In the last video, I showed you how to put the hardware together. In this video, we're going to take a look at the software and the interface that we use to make the router perform the way we want it to. Now this is where using LTE hacks comes in real handy. Now in order to use it the way it's meant to be, you need to register with a valid email address. And that way you'll be able to post questions on the different forums and have your questions answered and check the frequently asked questions because nine times out of ten, the answers are probably somewhere in the archives. There are a bunch of helpful folks on there. So register and get your questions answered. Before you get going with your device, you wanna make sure you have the proper firmware installed on both the router and the modem. Now, when I ordered LTE Fix sent me a link for the latest firmware for my router, I used the link to download the firmware file to my laptop using Windows 10. Then I connected the router to my laptop via ethernet and flashed the firmware that way. It took about 10 minutes tops. Now, because I'm both anal and a little obsessed, I had to climb back up on my roof and add two more directional antennas along with two more LMR400 cables to my setup to take advantage of the 4x4 MIMO in my Cat20 modem. Now I've done enough yapping, it's time to take a look at the firmware. And now ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you the greatest thing your eyes have ever beheld. This router uses the more common IP address that most routers use the 192.168.1.1. It'll bring you to the admin login page. There you put in your admin password and log in, and we'll see the status page. Here we can see that we're using the most recent version of the Golden Orb firmware. If we go further down into the system, we can see that this is where we can set up the time for the router and the time zone. If we go further down into the administration, here we can change the admin password. This is the password you use to log into the router. If you go even further down, you can check the firmware. Here you can either back up your current firmware, restore a previous version of your firmware, or you can flash the latest version or a new version of your firmware. And of course, you have the option to reboot your router remotely by selecting Perform Reboot. Now the TTL settings for this firmware is done on the router, not the modem. So in order to change them, we're going to go down to Network, then we're going to select Firewall. And once the Firewall menu comes up, we're going to scroll over to the right to Custom TTL Settings. This will bring up the Custom TTL value with a drop-down menu. You select the value you want, then press Save and Apply. Now let's dive into the modem settings. This is where the magic happens. If you select Connection Profile under the Modem tab, you'll see that this is where you set up your APN, depending on which service you have. If I used AT&T, of course, I would set it to broadband. Right now, I'm using Verizon Wireless, so it's set to the Verizon Wireless APN. The network status screen has all of your modem and SIM card information, and if you scroll further down, it has your cell signal information, which band you're on, the signal strength, signal quality, etc. Now, in order to change the band, we gotta select miscellaneous and bring up the at command terminal. Here is where we'll put in an at command to change the modem to a specific band or a specific group of bands. Thankfully, Jim at LTE Fix posted a downloadable interactive spreadsheet on LTE hacks for Quectel modems that helps you determine which at commands to use to select specific bands or specific groups of bands on your modem. Unlike the MoFi, when I change bands using these at commands, there's no rebooting and I haven't noticed any noticeable loss of connection when it switches bands and it does it pretty quickly. Guys, I'm still getting familiar with this firmware and the attention commands. This is all pretty much still new to me. I know how to use the at commands to change the bands, but that's pretty much it. If you got more knowledge of these at commands and the firmware, please leave a comment and share your knowledge. As always, the more I learn, the more I'll share. Right now I got it locked to band 66. We'll go back to miscellaneous and the at command terminal and I'm going to put in the at command to lock it to both bands 4 and 13. Press send command and wait for the response. Once I get the OK, I can go back to network status and make sure that it locked to bands 4 and 13. Now as you can see the interface is way different from the MoFi's interface. So if you're used to the MoFi's interface, this is going to take a little adjustment. But trust me, 
with a little help from LTE Hacks, you'll be able to change the settings just like you were able to change the settings on your MoFi. See, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> now it's time to take this out for a test drive and see what we're working with. Now for this first speed test, I just got the motor locked to band 66 to test the performance on that band. Now these tests are with the modem locked on band 4. Now these two tests are band 13 aggregated with band 66. The next two tests will be band 13 aggregated with band 4. Now ideally, I would love to carry an aggregate band 4 with band 66. Unfortunately, those bands can't be combined with this modem. But I can carry an aggregate band 13 with either band 4 or band 66. The problem I'm having is when I do that, it seems to pick band 13 as the primary band every time. I want to try to force it to pick either band 4 or band 66 as the primary band and band 13 as the secondary band. You know how to do this. Any help left in the comments would be greatly appreciated. These next couple of speed tests are with my AT&T plan, and I added a speed test with the Nighthawk on the same plan for comparison at the end. Groovy, baby. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So there you have it. I am beyond thrilled with my router. I hope this possibly inspires some of you to build your own device or at least look into it as you can build a better device and even save money doing it. As always, please hit the like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and share this video. And please, please leave comments down below as I love interacting with fellow obsessed LTE geeks like myself and just regular people looking for a better internet option. Till next time, thanks for watching and have a good one. I'm here to help. That's what Because that's what heroes do. Thank you, you've been helpful.